One of the things we've been studying for the last three years on our farm has been the use of fungicides in soybeans. It kind of all started a few years back when the big talk of soybean rust had gotten into our country. It was discovered in the southern part of the United States and all us farmers in the northern part of the country thought, uh-oh, we better get prepared because maybe, maybe someday we'll get soybean rust. Well, we get these southerly winds like today that are blowing in and there's a lot of things. There's insects that move up, there's diseases that move up every year. And so we thought, you know what? we better be a little bit knowledgeable, we better be prepared. And in the meantime, what's happened is farmers started using fungicide where they hadn't been in the past, and we learned, hey, even if soybean rust isn't a big issue, there are diseases that are hitting our soybean crop every year. And you know what? We can also get an economic return using a fungicide. But here's the big key with this whole thing. In the last three years, in most of our trials, we've only averaged a bushel and a half to two bushels. So right away you say, well, a bushel and a half or two bushels, it's not even worth it. But here's the thing, we've used both a half rate and a full rate of fungicide and we've gotten similar results. So if we can get by with a half rate of fungicide for five or six bucks and we can gain even a bushel and a half at today's soybean price, you're talking well over a $20 return for an investment of five or six bucks. And we're out there spraying for bugs or spraying for weeds anyway, why not do it? But the whole key is, if you're gonna look for a, and try to find a bushel and a half to two bushel increase, that's not gonna show up on the yield monitor. You know, when we're in the Western Corn Belt, uh, we don't raise as good a yields as happens further east where they mean? get more rain. What? So it's a little bit more <laughs> of a challenge for us because it does get a little hotter and a little drier in the summer. So you would think, oh, there aren't going to be big disease issues in the western corn belt. That's part of the reason why we can get by with a half rate of fungicide on our farm. Right. Where if you're farming in Alabama, you're going to need a full rate of fungicide because you're going to have lots more humidity all the way through but by the and same token to those guys can probably consistently gain five to seven bushels an acre we aren't consistently gaining that here now i i said most of our trials had gained a bushel and a half or two bushels every once in a while we hit the home run last year we had one variety we had on 150 total acres we gained 17 bushels to the acre i wouldn't have believed it myself had it not been on our farm but 17 bushels per acre at the price of soybeans, that's unbelievable. That pays for all the fungicide we're ever gonna need on that farm forever, practically. So it was a great deal. And that's what you kind of have to keep in mind. With farming, you know, you're gonna have some where you don't gain much, but if you have a few others where you gain a whole bunch, you gotta look at the average. And net, are we making any money or are we not? And if you had $4 soybeans, yeah, I'd be a lot more cautious about spraying fungicide out there. But we've got way more than $10 soybeans. Who knows, maybe we'll have $20 soybeans by this fall. I don't know what's gonna happen with the price. All I know is today we can lock in a good profit and fungicide pays in almost every situation right now in soybeans. We've got to tip our hats to BASF. They've done a great job marketing their product headline and getting a lot of farmers across the country aware that you know what, fungicides can and should be used in soybeans around that full flower stage at R2. So when your soybeans are in full bloom, that's about the right time to put on a fungicide for protection against soybean rust and some other diseases. But, you know, everybody's excited about headlines, so what happens? Headline typically sells out. So then we've got to look at some other products. We get guys excited saying, wait a minute, I want to use a fungicide, well, but now I can't get headline, what do I do? But the funniest thing is, Guys will say, well, if I can't get headline, I don't know if it's even worth spraying. And we say, well, you know <laughs> why? When you've got quilt out there, you got something like Stratego that actually could be better than headline. Stratego has two modes of action. Headline only has one. So on our farm, we've had great results with Stratego and with quilt, just like we have with headline. Same kind of thing, same type of situation, same basic product, or at least one of the components of Stratego and one of the components of quilt is almost the same as headline. So you don't have to use headline. You can use something else. Now, one of the great things that Headline has done in their marketing program is they've really focused on you want to get out there before you have a disease. This is a preventative product. Spray the Headline a little bit before you expect to have some disease in your field. Don't wait till the leaves are all lit up orange with rust and then say, oh boy, I better spray something for a disease. You're way too late. So you've got to spray early. Now, if you can't find Headline and you do turn to one of these other products, the good news about products like Stratego or Quilt is that they're also a little bit curative too. They aren't great. I mean, you aren't gonna have your whole plant orange with rust and then come in and wipe it all off and start green again. That's not the way it works. But if you do have just a tiny little bit of disease getting started, 
these products can stop that in its tracks in addition to providing some prevention. Yeah, so that's really the biggest key. You've got to spray early if you want to get your maximum yield gain. The other thing is you have to have good spray coverage. So it's a little bit different with Roundup. You might want to use a little more water, maybe a little more spray pressure. Just do the best job you can getting good spray coverage because fungicides do not move well in the plant at all. It's not like Roundup where it goes from top to bottom in the plant. It doesn't work that way. If you don't cover every leaf or at least get a little bit of fungicide on every leaf, you're not going to protect that leaf. So do the best job you can with spraying early and getting good coverage and you can make fungicides work in your soybeans too just like we are on our farm. Now one of the things you can also do with fungicides is add a herbicide with them to kill things like our weed of the week. Can you identify this tough weed? 